What is up, Pirate Nation? Arrow Pirate here, and today I'm going to be re reviewing the LEGO Star Wars set 75324 Dark Trooper Attack, which has 166 pieces, retails for about $30 in the United States, and I got it over at Target. So, let's take a look at the minifigures first, and then the set, and then we'll take a look at the box and the instructions. So the first minifigure of this set is Luke Skywalker, and this actually does not look bad. He uses the new hood piece that I forget when it was introduced but it doesn't have like the thing at the bottom like the connector which I think looks really cool I think it looks much much better and I hope Lego does that more uh it comes with a green lightsaber but the green is sort of weird it doesn't look like a actual lightsaber it looks kind of off brand I don't know if mine was in a different factory or if they had to use a different material or something but it just doesn't look like the regular lightsaber Anyways, the outfit is really cool. I like the robes and how they actually did put the black hand in, which I think it would have been cooler if they used a dark metallic hand, sort of like the dark metallic ray they have for the arm pieces. I feel like they should have used that in like this color for Luke's hand because I feel like that would really give off the more robotic feeling. Anyways, on to the next minifigure or figures which are the Dark Troopers. The reason I say many figures is because they all look the same. Anyways, though, um, that's why I'm only reviewing just a single one of them. So, it's actually a really cool figure. I love how LEGO executed these guys. They look very, very intimidating and cool. When you take off the helmet, you've got, like, this sort of, uh, robotic-looking face, which actually sort of reminds me of... I think it was the 2018 Batman Tumblr that came with Ace the Bat Hound, and that said there was a Batman face mask that I think really looks like this one. Anyways, it comes with a standard blaster, but with a pair of binoculars attached to make it have this cool looking uh, design to it. The armor is a new piece entirely, I'm pretty sure. However, I think they did take some inspiration from the Nexo Knights pieces. Because, as you can see, it's an armor plate that has two giant shoulder pads and studs on the back where things can be held. Anyways, though, it looks like a very good shoulder piece, and I can't wait to see if LEGO makes more of these in the future. And when you take that off, uh, you can see what is under the Dark Troopers. And it's pretty much the same exact thing as this. So, yeah, just reassembling them once more. Uh... Again, very cool minifigure. Now let's take a look at the build of the set. So the build of the set is a very small room with three different play features that you can use. However, before we get to those play features, I'd just like to note how many stickers went on to this thing. There's one, two, three, four, five, six for the lights. One, two, three, four for background panels. One, two for the elevator. One there, I mean, the elevator floors. One there for the control panel, and two in here for that. So altogether, that came down to 15 stickers as a whole. Which, as much as LEGO loves doing stickers, I am part of the people in the LEGO community who does not like stickers because they're way too much of a hassle to put on. Of course, printed bricks would cost more, but I feel like putting stickers on is just a hassle, and I wish, if anything, LEGO would have applied the stickers beforehand. But then again, more work... But yeah, anyways, you also have a little hallway which just leads out and there's nothing really behind it, just some stuff. And then right behind here is just this stuff. And this is just the main area. So there are three different play features that you can use. You can have the elevator, which you can use this, and twist the elevator so you can have it so that it's closed and then it opens. Sort of like how they did with the Lego endgame uh, compound in 2019. Then we have a feature that reminds me of the West Hall, I think, from McFarlane Toys. And it has this little sliding play feature where you can have the figures slide up and down the halls. So you can take, I don't know, a random dark trooper right here, and you can just have him be put on here, and he's just walking down the walls like, I mean, walking down the halls like, 
And speaking of the Dark Troopers, you need Luke to fight them. So you can put Luke on this final play feature and have Luke twist and impale the Dark Trooper. The Dark Trooper. Just... Da, 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 da. Here, we'll fix this. We will knock the Dark Trooper down. Di eh. Oh, okay. I guess the Dark Trooper was more powerful than Luke was. Let's try this again. We will get it. We almost had him. Okay, maybe if we try a more... There, he fell. Anyways, putting all the figures back in the set. This is what it looks like with all the minifigures inside. Anyways, let's take a look at the box. The box is about the same size as the Lightyear Zerg attack box and the Jurassic World Dominion Blue and Beta Velociraptor capture box. Of course, it shows the new art of the Mandalorian and Grogu. Uh, we have Luke and the three Dark Troopers, and I tried to recreate the scene as best as I could. On the side of the box, it just is an ad for Lego Life. The bottom is just the price tag. The side just shows Luke again. Up top, it says it in all the different languages. Actual size. And on the back of the box, you have all the play features that we just mentioned before. However, it looks like their Luke actually is able to, you know, destroy the troopers. Who knows, maybe something's just wrong with mine. Anyways, on to the instruction booklet, which is right here, showing the same art as on the cover. And if we look at the instruction booklet, you can see that at the end it says a win with the robot. I wish that the win kid would come back, because he was truly the best. Anyways, you got the play features, the final constructed piece, and then all these ads for the newer LEGO Star Wars stuff, like the Imperial Cruiser, I think that's called. Uh, I forget what this is called, but I know I've seen it. Uh, the Razor Crest Micro Fighter, the ATST, and the Hoth Battle Pack. We already have the Slave One, we have the Trouble on Tatooine. We have this one because we just reviewed it. And then I also have obtained the Book of Boba Fett, um, Jabba's Palace. If you guys want me to do a review of that, I will because I honestly, uh, should have done that. But, bringing back everything we got here today. So yeah, for $30, I think this set is definitely worth it. I mean, I don't think it's worth 30 Maybe if we're marked down, like, I don't know, 5 or $10, I can see it working as a 20 or $25 set, but just for the small build, I don't really think it's worth 30 I mean, with the blue and beta, I can see that because, you know, um, the blue and beta, they're exclusive to that set. The one of three different torsos for Rain Delacorte, which back then I only thought there were two, but now I realize there's three, because there are three different Rain Delacorte minifigures. Even though, spoiler alert, he dies like five minutes after he's introduced. Not to mention that there's also the Macy Lockwood figure, and she has the um, black beanie instead of the Hermione 2000, early 2000s hairpiece. Which is why I call that hairpiece, even though it's probably not what it's called. It's probably called like a, the brunette braid or something. Who knows? Um, the Zerg thing I can see because it's a giant Zerg, everybody's gonna want it. Uh, there's that exclusive figure of Izzy, and there's the Eric, so you're like, oh yeah, that's probably what makes it $30. And then there's this, which, sure, we get three Dark Troopers, even though we only get one in the Imperial Cruiser, and we get Luke Skywalker, but... I don't know, like this new Luke Skywalker, which even though he looks cool in this background and the Dark Troopers look cool too, I just don't think this is worth $30 on my money. But anyways, tell me what you guys think. I mean, I still love this set, but uh, it's not going to get my highest rating. Anyways, that was it for this video, guys. Remember to smash the subscribe button, hit the like button as well, type in the comments, whatever the heck you want. Go subscribe to my boys Tyler and DNJ100. See you guys soon for an update. Well, actually two, where I introduce in one of them two of my new friends. Well, old friends, but they're coming to YouTube, so 
they are quote unquote new. And then my other friend, who's going to be making an appearance soon, who you guys have seen in the comments of my videos, but you've never actually met. Anyways, I will see you guys there. Don't know me, but I'll see you guys there. Peace out, Parnation.